Hello, hello, and welcome to the Personal Innovation Podcast with me, Eric Seyram. This podcast is brought to you by personalinnovationhub.com. In this episode, I want to ask you, what do you have to offer the world? I believe the world and most of the things in it are mostly in two folds. There is darkness and there is light. There is good and there is evil. There is success and there is failure. One cannot be one and the other at the same time, but you can change from one to the other. Our goal is to be and be seen at the right side of the world. Where do you belong? Where are you going? I hope it is to that side where the world wants for us and from us. I guess you are asking yourself what does the world want from us and for us this is the answer it is for you to be the light that shines to the world not that which darkens the world think about it in natural and practical terms where is more conducive to stay a brightened room or a dark room how do you feel when all of a sudden a very illuminated room where you are goes all dark And how do you feel when it's lightened up again? Will you still keep a light bulb that doesn't light up? That's why I want you to live your life as a love story and shine to the world. Use who you are, what is within you to impact the world. Become hope to others. Become the light that shines on others. Leave a mark on the universe. Let them say you are one in a million. Let them sing your praise. Let them remember you even when you are no more. Let them celebrate your life. This is the principle and the overarching goal behind the personal innovation concept and campaign. Today's world is a world of giving and sharing. The more you give, the more you receive. But mind you, Receiving or plowing back what you have sown is not a given. It is not constant. It may come to you or may not come at all. It is all good. It's your goal to give and expect in return. Our goal must be to give our all, no strings attached. I believe a natural law of life is to impact the world. You will need to lay down your life for others to be remembered and celebrated by the world. You will need to be worth your soul. You will have to give out a piece of you. Think about it. When you light up a candle to brighten your room, does it stay at its original state? No, it doesn't, but diminishes. When you add salt to your food, Do you still find the salt? If you add sugar to your tea and can still see the solid sugar in your tea, then it is not sugar, it is something else. If you can eat your cake and still have it, then it's not a cake. Sounds crazy and scary, right? No, it shouldn't. It's not really an issue of dying for others to leave. It is all about being selfless in our pursuits in life, aiming to become catalysts of change, putting smiles on people's faces. Think about it. What comes to your mind when names like Jesus Christ Christ, Prophet Muhammad, Mahatma Gandhi, Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa of Kolkata, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Steve Jobs, and others who are even amongst us today are mentioned. All these names shared something with the world. They left a mark and they will forever be remembered. Not all of them stayed to enjoy their toil, but they are happy wherever they are today. We shall always remember them. What do you have to offer? the world. Let's all start thinking bigger about who we are, what we do, and how we can impact the world in a unique way. Go shine to the world. This has been your motivational personal innovation podcast with me, Eric Seyram. Brought to you by personalinnovationhub.com. Thank you for listening till the end. Subscribe to the Personal Innovation Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and other podcasting platforms. There is more to come. Subscribe to receive regular updates from personalinnovationhub.com. Follow me on Twitter at Sir Eric Seram A and on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash personal innovation hub. Be different, stand out, and shine to the world. Don't wanna hear them say you lose.